Hey guys, it's Chris here. Uh, went on a bit of a card hunt slash shopping spree in a way. Um, got a couple things I didn't totally plan on getting, but uh, just because I found them. Um, so, Tops Chrome 2021 update series. I it's all the trade. I guess I'm not a big, real sure about what, what's in here, but. Figured I'd grab a pack because it was all one of the few things they had at one of the stores I went by. So it was actually, I think, one of the first stops I did, and I wasn't quite sure I was going to find anything else. So that's kind of part of the reason I got it. So um, next is uh, Gypsy Queen Tops Baseball 2021. This is probably one of my favorite products um, for Tops. Uh, for baseball in general because I really like the look of the cards. It's kind of an old and modern, a new and modern look to them. So kind of really like those. Um, next was a shop I don't typically go to very often. They are a bit of a drive and sometimes doesn't always have any hockey. Um, but... Which, case in point, this time I did get any hockey. I got more stuff for the wife than I did me for her collection. Um, so, I got a bunch of Cal Ripken stuff, as you can see. Got a graded card back there. Got a uh, 92 All-Star Cal Ripken. A 99 Upper Deck uh, UD Choice. Uh, 95 upper deck. I don't remember if there was a difference between the ones with the gold or not. I can't remember. It's a 2013 tribute tops. Um, I don't recognize it because it's not really stuff I look for. It was a bit of a, you can see it's kind of a thicker card. It had thicker stock. It's kind of a neat card looking card, so. And then a aficionado by Pinnacle, which I think now is Panini. Pen, Panini used to do aficionado too for a while, so. But that's kind of a neat looking card. Kind of like the look of that. And then a PSA seven of a ninety or eighty C. I'm sorry, eighty three. Don Russ, um, kind of a memorable layout of the cards but I'm assuming it's because there's some it's hard to see here on the thing but there's the coloring is a little off like the white isn't as white it's kind of um faded and got like a stain not a stain but sun bleaching I'm not sure but still kind of neat for 20 bucks like it's kind of hard to pass up something for the wife her for her collection maybe I'll Pull one day, pull all the stuff I've gotten for her out and show it to you, to you guys. So next, um, I stopped at uh, my local, sh not, not local, localist shop, and a antique shop. So at the local shop, got a few cards, a few more packs for the Thursday openings. Um, some OPG hobby. Uh, some Wave 3 2019-2020 overtime. And then at the antique shop, one booth, guy has cards every so often. And this time he didn't have much in the way of hockey. He only had one thing. This is the only hockey card he had. And not kind of impulse. This is totally impulse on this one. The only hockey card he had, and it was an artifact, so... It was like a buck, two bucks, I can't remember now off the top of my head, but it wasn't bad. So grabbed it, figured might as well for the collection. And then finally, yeah, this is obviously not something you normally see me opening or talking about, but a Michael Jordan 1992 Tops Near Mint, Mint 8 or whatever you want to call that. I total impulse. It was fifteen bucks. 
don't really know why. It just, it's, I, yeah, not sure what I'm going to do with it exactly, but it was a total impulse buy. But same thing with this one. Um, not sure. Something for the collection for years down the road. I have no idea, but it's kind of some funny things to find. Um, so that's my pickups for the impulse buys and pickups for the week. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. All right, bye.